Good morning and welcome back to the farm. Hope you're having a good time. I'm doing great. So April month, or the month of April, was kind of busy. Um, not too much, but enough to um, keep me going for a while, which is nice. Now in May, I'm not quite as busy. There's still things to do, but all in all, sorry um, it's it's gonna be a more relaxed month comparatively um, I had a miscalculation on the amount of manure and slurry that I was getting I thought that it will last me a long time but <laughs> no doing a double spread I pretty much emptied a tank just a one pass of slurry on this field and on the other uh, field 68 I emptied uh, the trailer almost on one pass um, with that so it's it's gonna yeah I'm, I'm still have to subsidize it or substitute uh, bought fertilizer but it's not all bad I started out with 20 cows and if we look at the numbers today we have 40 all of these here they got like the reproduction rate went from 90 to 0 and 20 more cows appeared now they are not in puberty range yet so I don't know if they will produce anything of the milk slurry or fertilizer I sure know they're going to be eating stuff though, so I have to keep on top of that. But that's a, a small problem to have. I am able to do that. Um, I think now is when the, the real test begins to see if one of these small fields here is enough to keep up with the demand for um, TMR. I'm doing the hay and the straw thing. Um, hay and the silage thing, I guess. So I will not be uh, mowing the lawn the entire time in this episode. I will be hiring someone to do it for me. I'm just doing this one because um, this is going to be turned into hay. So that's why I'm doing it like this, with a swath spread wide. And I'm just going to get started on the field. That is the large field, 30 to 31. Just going to do the edge. some fashion and then we're gonna do some TMR if I can show you what I mean by me purchasing a bigger feeder machine for the cows how, how well it handles that so let's lift this up and change the work mode to swath dropping I am very peculiar about how I want my swath to drop. Um, so I will do as I've done in the past before I got these other two fields. And I will start over here on this side. That's almost... there we go. So we'll do one swath like this, and this uh, field here to the right as well, field 40, 40 yep, will also be swath and be turned into silage for the cows. This is silage to 
is sold. Okay. And I'll just do one more pass over here. And then I will let the uh, worker take over. I know I said that this year I will introduce the courses to my farm and I fully intend to do so. Um, I got the access codes. Just need to download the material and it will be all good. So that's great. Something to look forward to. Means that I will be able to tell my workers to do a little bit more than what they're doing now. And, and also they are in the process of, or currently they're not able to do everything. Like this field here is kind of weird for them because of the shape here in the corner so okay. yep. so they don't know how to handle that and it's the same with the combined field 31 30 31 um, it's sort of like a diagonal at one end and they don't really know how to handle the cornering on that one which is stupid because it's really not that difficult but, you know, workers are workers They have no vested uh, interest in the well-being of your farm as such. Are you best? You missed this part. See, this is what I'm talking about. If I can set up a program where the workers are not missing anything and just doing what they're being told, as I tell them to do it, then everything will be hunky-dory. So, what are we doing now? Well, let's feed the cows. So today's episode is going to be some general maintenance around the farm. Uh, feeding the cows, the chicken, possibly the sheep. Um, things of that nature. And yeah, I did uh, plant soybeans on every field that didn't already have canola planted on them um, like I said I did purchase this other field so next year or I guess this year in some of the canola fields I will be planting some um, other stuff Perfect. Other stuff that is needed to produce straws. That's what I will be doing. So, let's see, we place this place it over here this is where it's needed and we turn it on and we go get the thing above over here this other tractor and set it up I guess I could buy another telehandler or whatever but no need really. Don't need this part. So Let's start with the obvious one, 
or the biggest one which would be strong. I only need one of these. It's not too heavy, so I can definitely handle it. Hell up display. Now we we'll take one of these. Because I know I need at least one. But I will need two of those. I also got a uh, new bucket that can handle 2,500 liters instead of the old bucket that is used mostly or that is used also for sugar beet cuts that handle 2.3 liters, 2.3 thousand liters. So this one, um, since each bale, uh, okay, so each of these bales is 5.5, 5,500 5, liters. This is. 9,000 liters and this is 11,000 liters. I, a bale is... So two of these scoops is 5,000 liters. So I just need another 500 to make it act like a silage bale. So... I will need f four of these scoops. So that's one scoop. Let's put in another. Scoop number two. And just for argument's sake, let's just put in uh, another scoop after this with 500. And that will simulate one of the silage bales. Okay, good. Just bear with me for a bit. Slightly too much there. There, roughly. It's close enough that the numbers makes no difference. So now we have essentially one bale of each. Looking at the numbers, we need to up the number of uh, in the silage and in the, well, basically only in the silage department as we lower the, the numbers in the straw department. So let's get another bale in, shall we?
it's going to be much quicker once this loose silage is taken care of. It's kind of a mistake getting loose silage like that. Well, as I said, I wanted to try something different. If this had been the other wagon, the the one I started with, the TMR wagon, the wagon would be full now and I will have a lot of waste. I would have to sort of break up all of the straw um, bales to lose and then use a, a straw fork or whatever to measure it in. But I feel like bales are now I feel like bales are a much better option. And this one definitely has space for a full set um, of mix. So another 500 liters in the scoop. And then we can check the ratio of the mix. There we go, another 508. So still need to sort out the ratio. So let's put in another bale of hay. And then we saturate it with the silage. It may very well turn out that I cannot make as much silage to sell later on or in the future. So there we go. Now we are within acceptable limits. It's still being mixed up. There. So, like I said, two bales of stray straw, sorry, one bale straw, two bales hay, two bales of silage. And that gives you a nice mixture. Just need to add, add a food supplement. You can turn off the mixing, you don't need to do that anymore. Well, maybe we do. We have this um, animal food kind of thing here. So I'm going to go by 1.1% of this, which is 
mineral feet. Seems to be a good uh, number to go for. And I won't waste the pallets too much. Or waste that too much. And the numbers are still staying within acceptable limits. There we go. Turn that off. Drive on in. Fill it up. Ta da! That's step one for caring for the cows. Step two is make sure to have enough hay bedding, straw bedding. Looking at the numbers here, the straws are good. There we go. Okay, what else does it look like? Milk and slurry, still got space for that. And I don't think we're going to sell milk in May, so we don't need to fill up the milk tank. Which is good. That step's done. Since we are on the tractor here, let's feed these chickens. It seems to me that to be able to make a large amount of money every year and not just expanding by getting more and more fields, um, I need a, a cash crop. And while sugar beets is the preferred one, I am not comfortable doing that in large scale at the moment. Um, feel better doing the soybeans for that. So I will be doing that. Let's see. Get in here. Let's check out what's happening over here. Um, you consider yourself done. So go to. Nah, no man. Stay there. I'll tell you what to do later. I'm just gonna sort this one out. There we go. Can't wait to use this big new machine that I got. It's going to be fun. Just tearing through the larger fields at a quicker pace. Speaking of, um, the larger fields do produce a lot of resources. Uh, like field uh, 3031 when it came to some, uh, canola for example it gave me three full loads of canola um, like 108,000 liters to deliver to the oil mill plus a little bit of extra to put in here now to save time what I've been thinking of buying is a I don't know, intermediary storage for the crop as I empty out the fields. And I know that moving on now in, in 
now with two harvesters I will hire at least one worker to help me harvest because usually harvesting happens in around the same time every year or the same month so we haven't checked out this one today but as we're here let's do it uh, a tractor John Deere 190 horsepower it's not good enough um, don't need this one I already have I already have something similar to this it's a nice conveyor belt though this one it can hold 8.2 liters of water slurry digestate and this is a header for a forge wagon I don't have a John Deere stuff so I don't need this um, so what I'm thinking is something like this, right? Not this one, though. Um, something like this. Or maybe something even bigger. But this one can hold at 1.2 tons. But I think I've seen something that is even bigger than that. In auger wagons? Oh, yeah. This one, 211,400 cubic, um, 141,000. I think maybe getting um, two of these would be enough. One down by field 68 and one by field 30, 31. Um, so I just placed them there, opened them up, and then when the Harvesters are full, I empty it out onto the trailer that I have, and then when the trailer is full, I just drop it there, and then back being ready to pick it up, uh, the next load from the combine. And, and these, I like the look on these, they're long, huge, and then it's just a matter of, of driving them back to the farm, um, and empty it out into the silo, or empty it back onto the trailer, and just leave it where it is. I guess, guess there's no point in moving it about. So that's kind of cool. Um, another thing, um, so we are planted the soybeans here. We're going to harvest them here in October. However, the canola is going to be harvested here in July. And that gives me an opportunity to plant it again if I need to. I don't think I need to. Or I do a load of wheat or barley just to top up on my um, straw don't know if I need it yet but and I'm, I'm just thinking like doing a small field like 51 or 47 uh, one of those small fields for that um, no need to do anything larger because this should be enough to top it up for a year still don't know how much feed I need to give now that I have 40 cows, how much feed they need per month. But I'm working that out. And in worst case scenario, I can always buy the bales that I need or just do a job for one of the neighbors. And oh, maybe that's the option instead. Do a, a job for one of the neighbors that requires me to harvest any wheat and barley they may have planted we probably both and just take the straw for myself they're usually okay with that then I wouldn't have to do it on my own fields just yet because I am in no dire need of any oat barley or wheat since only needed for the chickens I don't own a flour mill or bakery I would like to own uh, that stuff though but don't need it yet dude what the hell how can you be so stupid and miss 
stuff like this. I bet you missed stuff over here as well because you're just an idiot. So this is why I need this new course. Because the staff here is is really subpar. check up on their work all the time because they don't know how to do it properly but this idiot here is just missed this part like I said no no pride in the work for others annoying sometimes so I will look into maybe expedite the delivery of that um, those courses and then get these guys trained hopefully for the July cuts yeah I think that's a good idea Okay, now with that taken care of, um, I can go back to caring for the animals and um, fertilizing the other fields. Don't need, don't, or get started on this stuff over here. Yeah, we figure something out. Anyway, I will let you go back to your whatever it is you're doing when you're not watching this stuff. And I do appreciate you watching this stuff. And I hope you will continue watching this stuff in the future when more episodes come out. And I do hope you would enjoy, like, subscribe, comment on my videos. That way, I know I'm doing something right. Um, so, until next time, please do take care and enjoy yourself. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.